Here's a chord from Stephen Sondheim's Passion. And it is... Keith Horn's Chord of the Week. Stephen Sondheim's 1994 musical Passion is famous for being the shortest running musical to receive a Tony Award for Best Musical. And if you know this factoid, according to David Hasselhoff, It's great for trivia games. It's performed in one act and is adapted from an Italian novel from the 1860s. And, as expected, Sondheim delivers with lush harmony and very interesting chord voicings, like this one. Here's a clip from the scene called The Fifth Letter. And here's the chord. You could think of it as an A flat augmented, major seven, add two. But I like to call it a C7 over A flat. Makes sense to me. <laughs> he then takes the chord up a step to D7 over B flat. And then to B7 over G. The more I study Sondheim, the more I find that he likes to voice chords with a combination of consonants and dissonance. Two things existing at once. Often using clustering in combination with wide intervals, like this chord from Sunday in the Park with George. Or these chords from Into the Woods. Now my big tool, terrible, awesome, scary, wonderful giant. Let's hear the passion chord one more time. And in case you're wondering, yes, that is Mother Gothel from Tangled, played by Donna Murphy, who is well known in musical theater and was awarded a Tony for her role as Fosca in Passion. There is a constant undertone of sadness and frustration in Fosca's character because her love for Giorgio is not reciprocated. She is the odd one out in a classic, you guessed it, love triangle. One of my favorite quotes by Sondheim is, the heart of music is harmony. Hello. 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 He is a master at expressing, among other things, emotional turmoil with his use of harmony and orchestration. And this chord is a perfect example of that with its ambiguous tonality and its harsh orchestral colors like muted brass. It's the sound of frustration that could easily turn to madness at any moment. Do you think I'm going mad, Julia? So let's take this chord from Passion through some exercises. The first exercise is to take the C7 over A flat and plane it exactly as it is through the authentic cycle around the circle of fifths, like this. Next, I'll take this chord through the ascending augmented cycle, which is this. C augmented, F augmented, a fourth higher, B flat augmented, and E flat augmented. It's another way to get through all 12 keys without going around the circle. You can jump around the circle instead of going in a circle. For more on this, check out my video on root cycles. So if we were to just take dominant sevenths through that cycle, it sounds like this. C, E, a flat, F, A, D flat, B flat, D, and so on. And then I'll add the flat six of each of these chords in the left hand. And that sounds like this, starting in C, C7 over A flat. So there's another example of the unique chord voicings of the king of musical theater, Stephen Sondheim. 
And if you like this video, be sure to check out my other videos on Sondheim on this channel. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and happy practicing. Yeah. Who did? This beat. Yo, who did? Yo, who did? Who did?